If you're planning to move to the San Diego area, there's definitely some areas that you're going to want to avoid. And in this video, we're gonna break down pretty much all of the cities and suburbs around the San Diego area to help you figure out which one's gonna be the best fit for you. And more importantly, which areas to avoid. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back, or maybe this is your first time here and you like to know every little thing there is to know about living right here in San Diego. Make sure you give that subscribe button down below. Nice little tap, we really appreciate it. My name is Nick and you guys are reaching out all the time and we really do love helping you out. So if you're thinking about making moves in or around the San Diego area, make sure to shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call so we can help you save a lot of time and just help you make a smooth move right here to San Diego. Now, the first place that we're gonna talk about is going to be Vista. You're gonna to wanna to avoid moving to Vista if you're not looking for a semi-rural, small town feel kind of area. Now, most of Vista, especially the neighborhoods, there is a big lack of sidewalks and walkability. I mean, there is some outliers in the south of Vista in a community called Shadow Ridge, which is more of a master plan feel where you have sidewalks and all that stuff. But most, a good majority of Vista is going to be neighborhoods. Just like I'm saying, you're gonna have older homes built back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, some that have never been renovated, some that are completely gorgeous and have been fully renovated on bigger lots. And it's just an area where you're gonna have further drives to grocery stores, shopping plazas, and, and things like that. Also, there is a small downtown area known as Vista Village. And over the last, I'd say 15, 20 years, it has been really outdated, but they've completely revamped it. You got a ton of new restaurants, shops, and things like that popping up. Next up is Encinitas. Now, definitely avoid Encinitas if you are on a tight budget. Now, Encinitas has always been a lot less expensive than some of its southern neighbors like Solana Beach, you got Del Mar and even La Jolla, but lately, I'd say in the past few years, this has not been the case. Encinitas is just a place that draws in a lot of people. It's got a very vibrant downtown area. It's got a laid back beach lifestyle, a ton of restaurants, but it has just gotten a ton more expensive, a lot like a lot of those other affluent areas like I just spoke about. So if you are definitely on a tight budget, don't look in Encinitas. Next area you might want to avoid is going to be Pacific Beach. Now, do not move to Pacific Beach if you are looking for a quiet lifestyle. This is a very densely populated area with college students. There is a ton of bars. You're gonna have a ton of nightlife and even some clubs, definitely on the main strip over there on Garnett. So it can get very, very loud, very busy and definitely during the summer months, it's gonna get even more crowded. And sometimes it can take even 20, 25 minutes just to get in and out of Pacific Beach, depending on time and traffic. Next area you're going to want to know about is going to be La Mesa. Now, definitely avoid moving to La Mesa if you're looking for a new construction home. La Mesa is kind of an older area of San Diego, and you're not gonna find any new construction homes. It is completely built out. Most of these homes were built back in the 60s, 70s, maybe even the 80s if you're lucky. And you know, if you want something that's completely remodeled and turnkey, expect to have a fight when something does pop up and expect a lot of these homes to be the, in the original condition. Next area you might want to avoid is going to be Carlsbad. Now don't move to Carlsbad if you are looking for affordability. It has gotten pretty darn expensive over the past, I'd say three to four years. And even before that, I always thought of it as one of these kind of coastal secrets that was just priced really fair when it came to housing, but it's definitely changed, like I said, a lot over the past few years. And it's for a lot of factors that you guys love. I mean, first off, you have different housing options. A lot of you guys like newer homes, so you're gonna have plenty of those options in Carlsbad. Also, you have some really cool neighborhoods that have some older custom homes, and there's tons of other great factors like shopping centers literally all over the place. You're gonna have one of the best public school systems in all of San Diego, just right there in Carlsbad. So all this stuff adds to the affordability being really crushed there. So you might want to avoid Carlsbad if you are looking for affordability. And just a quick reminder, if you have any questions on these neighborhoods or any other areas in San Diego, we know San Diego like the back of our hands and we would love to be a real estate resource for you. So make sure you guys are reaching out, shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call. Next up is San Marcos. Now definitely don't move to San Marcos if you're looking for a home without an HOA. And usually when I talk to you guys on the phone, 
It's somewhere in your criteria is you wanna make sure you don't have an HOA. And let me tell you, San Marcos is probably just a place you're gonna to wanna to avoid because I'd say a good 80% of homes and communities, it's gonna involve a homeowners association. Doesn't matter if it's a detached single family home or if it's a townhome or a condo, a good majority of homes here are going to have HOAs. So just keep that in mind if you're looking over here. Also, another thing I wanna add is there is a ton of tri-level and two-story condos and townhomes, especially single family homes, same thing. It's really hard to find a single family home over here. There is some outliers. A lot of the portions in the northeast section of San Marcos, you're gonna be able to find a few communities with no HOAs and some single story homes. So just know there is going to be a few options. Next area you might want to avoid is going to be downtown San Diego. Now don't move to downtown unless you're okay with airplane noise and seeing the unsheltered. Now, it is a bit of a convenience being super close to the San Diego International Airport, but with that being said, you are definitely going to hear planes taking off and landing very, very often. And if you guys need a flight path map, definitely reach out, we can supply that for you. But the second thing I wanna touch base on is going to be the homelessness down here because it has gotten pretty bad in my opinion. And it's in different sections of downtown San Diego, but as you go towards more East Village on the Eastern side of downtown, that's where you're gonna see it a lot more. So just be weary that you are going to see it down here. Next up is Chula Vista. Now avoid Chula Vista if you have to commute up to North County San Diego. And now it can be fun heading up to North County San Diego from Chula Vista if you're just trying to do some fun stuff like check out some restaurants, beaches, things like that. But if you have to commute to work up to the northern region of San Diego, it is not going to be fun. I mean, it could take you anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to get up there depending on traffic. Not to mention traffic sometimes getting in and out of Chula Vista can be really, really bad as well. Next is Oceanside. So avoid moving to Oceanside if you don't like growth and change. Although Oceanside has been around for a very long time, it has seen some very steady growth over the last, I'd say five to seven years, and it is just changing rapidly. And you'll once you start driving around neighborhoods, you're gonna see that there's a lot of teardown homes that are actually being torn down and leveled, and you're seeing brand new modern homes come up. You're also seeing the same thing with commercial buildings as well. You're seeing them get fully renovated and having new businesses come in. You got a ton of really great restaurants starting to pop up with top rated chefs. So if you're not into growth and change and you don't really like kind of a hipster serve vibe, then Oceanside might not be the best fit for you. Next up is Claremont. Now, don't move to Claremont unless you're okay with some neighborhood eyesores. And what I mean by that, and I've also heard this from a ton of clients as well once they start driving around, is some of these homes are just, they're in disrepair. They need some major TLC, while the very next door neighbor's house is absolutely gorgeous. It's very well-maintained, beautiful home. So it's just that type of feel over in this area. It's definitely rapidly changing. It's gonna be an area where a lot of investors are buying these homes and they're doing complete gut renovations and making these places absolutely gorgeous. So it's just something to pay attention to if you're looking in Claremont. Next place you might want to avoid is going to be La Jolla. Now don't move to La Jolla if you do not like crowds, especially in the summer months. It can get very congested in here, very crowded. There's people all over the place and that's just because it's a huge tourist destination, which also makes parking incredibly crazy as well and that's not just a, a year-round thing that it's more towards summer as well but just keep that in mind if you are considering looking in La Jolla that it is going to be busy and it's going to take you a little bit more time to get in and out of La Jolla again we have a ton of videos right here on this channel that go over all these areas a lot more in depth next place you might not want to move to is going to be Poway now avoid Poway if you're looking for a place with cooler temperatures just because you're only about 30 40 minutes away from the beach doesn't mean that it's going to have very cool temperatures especially on some of these summer months where you're going to have a few weeks where it's definitely going to have some higher temperatures that'll hold steady at 80 maybe 90 degrees sometimes especially when it's 70 on the beach you can expect it to be maybe 80 85 just in Poway so if you're looking for a place with cooler temperatures you might want to avoid Poway. Last one you're going to want to know about is going to be Carmel Valley. Now you're probably going to want to avoid moving to Carmel Valley if public schools are not a priority. You have some of the best public schools in Carmel Valley, so it makes the home prices here extremely high. It's just very sought after. Everybody wants to have their kids go through a very good public school system, and Carmel Valley seems to be the place. So 
it probably just won't make sense if you live here and you don't have kids that are going to be attending these public schools because a lot of these communities have a Melrose fee, which is just another tax that takes care of, you know, the sidewalks, the infrastructure, the schools and all that stuff. So if you don't have kids, you're going to be paying towards that, which is going to just add to the cost of living here. Again, if you have questions on any of these areas or any others, we'd love to help give you some advice to help figure out which area is going to be the best bet for you, depending on your needs. So make sure you guys are reaching out. All of our information is right down below. And we have a couple videos right here that I actually think will be very helpful for you as well. Thanks for watching.